things get people talking, we want to hear from you. Fridays at 4, we take hot topics to the streets on everyone's mind today. What's Halloween going to look like tomorrow? Will trick-or-treating happen during the pandemic? Ah, uh, I could tell you who can uh, figure out all those answers for you. Brianna Hollis took these questions to the people in Fairhope. Do you think kids should be able to trick or treat tomorrow? I do. I, I feel like this year has been so hard. I think masks are important, and uh, if they will wear masks, I think it could be quite safe. They need that normalcy. They need that, you know, regular stuff in their life after all this junk. Missed out on so much this year. I think they should be able to get out and have a good time. Do you think that kids should be able to trick or treat tomorrow? I do. I think we need some normalcy. The people giving out the candy will take precautions. I don't see too much of a problem with it. I definitely think kids should still be able to trick or treat. I don't think Halloween and the fun that kids have on Halloween should stop because of COVID. We love all our children and we want them out just to be safe. Um, just a little bit of normalcy would be nice as long as there's precautions taken. We'll have all this candy here for them to get and we want them to enjoy Halloween this year. I mean, as long as the measures are taken and everybody's doing their best to be safe and have the best interest of the kids at heart, I think it's a great thing for them to go out and be able to have fun and just be kids. So, we heard what the people thought. Everyone thinks it's okay to trick or treat this year. Trick or treat. <laughs> All righty, but what are health and uh, police departments saying about this year? You know, what are they doing to make sure that people follow those guidelines? So it's hard because there's nothing legally they can necessarily do, and they haven't put anything official in place yet. But the Mobile County Health Department is suggesting one way trick or treating, meaning okay. just putting out like goodie bags or something for families to grab. But even though it might seem like a better idea to just leave that bowl of candy out, you know, some people might think that that limits the interaction. The health department's actually advising against that because they don't want a bunch of people just reaching in and getting the candy. They think it is a better idea for people to actually come to the door and have the houses just hand out individual pieces as long as their hands are washed and all of that. Absolutely. And you know, we, we received a lot of messages on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Just a people lot. have already gotten innovative during this time of the year, uh, finding ways to make this work. Uh, can you tell us a little <laughs> bit about those? <laughs> so, Cody Long did a really cool story in the Pensacola area. There's a family in Gulf Breeze that they've kind of been quarantining with their cul de sac, mm. with their little neighborhood, and they're going to kind of make a trick or treating affair just on their block. They're going to have a bunch of games, and if the kids win or they pass a challenge, then they get candy. So, at least that kind of limits them from having to go to other blocks and other spots around the neighborhood. Absolutely. You know, I was so. thinking possibly like putting up um, a table at the end of my driveway and making little bags for yeah. them to just pick up and go, pick up and go. I don't know. I made it still. What would you put in the that. bags? Oh, <laughs> you know, that's a tough question because I do not do candy. What? I know, I know. Hey, we already had this discussion in the newsroom. Everybody was like just clowning on me for not doing candy, but maybe I'll have a variety. Do some Skittles, okay. Reese's Pieces. All right. Uh, that's no fine. candy corn, though. Okay, that's fair. I can get on board with that. So is that something, if you were to do that, would you be out there, you know, maybe keeping a distance? Or is that something you'd kind of just watch from your window? Such a weird question to even be asking. It's what we were, I know, we were talking about. I know, you know, <laughs> I'm about to age myself a little bit. But <laughs> I used to look forward to, like, growing up and having my light on so people can come and ring yeah. the doorbell. And um, this year, I don't think I'll be able to finally do it now that I have a house. <laughs> Maybe down oh my the line, we'll get there. Things will get to I moment. know, I know. But you want me to tell you what you all can do? You can follow me and Brianna Hollis on social media. Yes. Let us know your tips. Let us know what we yes, can put we out to the know. public before tomorrow, and uh, we will definitely share them. All right, thanks, Bree, for all you do. <laughs>